Hi, it's Adam here from adaminscience.com and in this video I want to ask a question and find out what happens when we develop colour film in black and white chemicals. Um, I actually don't know, so what I'm going to do is take this roll of film out uh, in the, the Leica MP, uh, take a whole lot of different uh, shots at uh, a couple of uh, different exposures, some under and some over exposed, most of uh, them normal, try and get as many uh, different colours uh, in the shots as possible, we'll take as many different types of uh, images. At the same time I will take a digital uh, image of everything uh, that I'm taking for direct uh, comparison, bring it home, uh, develop it up in the Ilford uh, chemistry and see what happens. Before we just get started, a little bit of uh, technical background about uh, what this is. It is technically called cross-processing. It's a process where you develop a type of film in, the, in a different type of chemicals uh, that uh, you were meant to. So, for example, it's probably most well known uh, for processing uh, E6 uh, colour slide film in C41 colour negative uh, chemistry, so taking slide film and developing it in uh, normal uh, chemistry that you would normally use for the negatives. And, well, de it depends on the type of, uh, it depends on the type of slide film that uh, you're using, uh, but most of the time you tend to get a effect like if you were tweaking the uh, hue and saturation in uh, Photoshop. Okay guys, so we're back. Um, yeah, it was an okay day shooting, a little bit warm, but let's see how we go. I'm just going to load this film up into my Patterson tank and uh, then develop as if I was developing Ilford black and white. Just as a side note, this Fuji Color C200 is a really sweet film. I used to be a full-on Kodak uh, fan for colour, um, and I, I didn't always care for Fuji so much, but I actually really like this film. Um, it's, um, it, it's really pleasing. I'm going to do a full-on review uh, for it soon, and I look forward to sharing it with you. Okay, so I've just finished uh, developing. One of the very first things I'm going to say is, wow, there was quite a strong smell compared to uh, regular um, Alfred film developing, but now, wow, there's images on the film. There are images on the film. That's incredible. Okay guys, so it was a couple of weeks ago that I actually filmed that section of the video and then I got around to scanning the negatives just because of a couple of things that have happened um, in life, uh, you know, work commitments, whatever. I've only really just got around to reviewing the pictures properly and comparing them against a digital shot so I knew actually what I was taking. I think, let's just have a look. So. The first thing, obviously, to observe is that all of the colours are skewed. Definitely when compared to a normal uh, development, the grain structure in the film is definitely showing through a lot more. And I think it's safe to say that whether an image was slightly over or underexposed is definitely affecting the overriding hue or colour tone of the image. Because what's interesting is that a blue sky is definitely a different colour in different images. Now I know that I was using different shutter speeds as I was taking some of these shots, so maybe that has something to do with it. 
it's really odd, it's really weird, but I've developed this color film using the Ilford black and white chemistry and just following the same process as I would when I was developing black and white film. But anyway, my curiosity has now been satisfied. Obviously I can't develop my own colour film uh, to get normal colour images at home in the same way as uh, I do with uh, black and white film. I just can't develop uh, my own colour film that way. And yeah, my curiosity has been satisfied. I always wanted to know what would actually happen if I developed colour film using the black and white uh, chemistry. And I hope you guys have found this interesting too. Uh, sorry about the echo earlier on guys. Um, sort of in a new house, I don't have too much furniture around yet, so there is a little bit of an echo. But, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks, guys.